Welcome back. So before we jump into the code, let me just try and give you a small overview about what we're going to do. We're going to start out by actually setting up an Angular app. So we're going to figure out how we can go and actually create a new Angular app right here. There's a getting started guide and I've already made a lot of tutorials about that. So it's going to be a quick guide on how to get started with our Angular app. Secondly, I'm going to put that on a GitHub repo. Now I know that's not part of this tutorial actually, but I want to share this with you guys on GitHub so you can get the code if you want to. So we're going to do that as a second part. When the Angular app is actually set up, we're going to start doing some real code. We're going to start out by actually creating a Firebase project. So we have all these features available. So we have a Firestore database, we have auth, storage functions, and hosting available for our Angular app right here. So we're going to set that up. And when that is done, we're going to start working with the Firebase app. I want to add some kind of design uh, framework. So I'm going to either add material design or I'm going to add bootstrap. I think I'm going to use material design because I already made videos with bootstrap. So I just want to do something different this time. So we're going to have material design here inside the app. When that is done, we're going to try to add authentication. So we're going to have some kind of role based authentication so we can start actually logging in, seeing who we are. Are we a family member who can actually save stuff or are we just sharing this with other family members who cannot change it? Stuff like that. So we're going to make some kind of authentication setup right here. Then we're going to keep on working with the app and just expanding it slowly. And after we have authentication up and running, maybe we'll add it so that we can start storing some data in the database about the family members. Then maybe we'll start actually storing the images. Then we'll probably host our app so we can show the app live. And then we'll just keep building this. We'll add routing, we'll add um, some kind of auth guard so that people can just jump into different pages where they do not belong. And we'll auto authentication in the database so that people can just start grabbing data they don't they don't um, they shouldn't access and stuff like that. So we'll just start slowly expanding this application until we get to a point where I feel that we are now ready to move on to the next series, which is going to be Yonix. So see you in the next lesson where we'll kind of set all of this up and set all of this up in the next couple of lessons. Have fun. See you next time.